Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the end of April, the 23rd through the 30th. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Just want to remind you that Saturn is in retrograde from April 17th to what, September 3rd. So it's karma. Karma, karma, karma. Good karma, bad karma. If you've done dirty deeds, payback's a bitch. If you've done good things, look forward to some rewards. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that is playing the victim, self-centered, lazy. And this is unrealistic. Somebody um, may be dealing with a, some, a situation that is unrealistic. And, you know, they may be taken, being taken advantage of. Now, whether this is you or I don't know who this is, but uh, somebody could be, taken, be being taken advantage of here and being naive to the truth. Somebody um, needs to find their backbone and do the right thing. This is about integrity. There's a lack of integrity here. Interesting. Somebody has not planned sufficiently. And now they're being taken advantage of. And it's, they're involved in a situation that is dissatisfying and unrealistic. Could be with a fire sign who is hard to deal with. You know, and it feels like somebody is feeling betrayed, stabbed, lied to. And, but somebody's still holding on, right? Because it's secure and stable. This is an obsession. It's greed, resisting change. But there's incompatibility here. There's incompatibility. There's disharmony, disconnection, imbalance, arguments, uh, incompatibility. So what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Somebody may be staying in a situation just because it's secure and stable. But unfulfilling all the time, all the while, it's unfulfilling. It's, uh, you know, you deal, there's somebody that has hidden agendas here. <laughs> somebody is being called to find their confidence and their stamina and their strength. To let go of this obsession, let something in. Somebody needs to be strong here and take the lead. You're dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas. And somebody is not following their intuition. Because they're obsessed. Many of you are dealing with a fire sign. You know, you're being called to stand up for yourself. You deserve something better. Somebody isn't giving. They're not doing their part. And there's a lot of unnecessary drama. And, you know, it's not about proving yourself. It's about being happy. Somebody needs to let go of their ego. Ego is, is in a pride, is in the way. You know, somebody is not working hard enough on this, whatever it is. There's a lack of energy. There's a lack of hard work. Definitely, somebody is not putting in the amount of effort that they should. You know, and I feel like you ha you've really tried. You've put a lot of work into this. You have. You've gained a lot of wisdom through this time, whatever's been going on. 
you've learned a lot, you've come a long way, but there's a lot of doubt and fear and I feel like you're on the edge, but you're, you haven't given up, you, do, you just refuse to give up on this situation. You're trying to prove that this is going to work, even though it looks like it's pretty damn incompatible to me. You know, and this is unwelcome communication. No, I don't want to hear this. There's been a lot of unexpected conflicts in this dynamic, whether it's at work or in love or however this resonates with you. There's been a lot of unexpected conflicts. You're dealing with a person who's a know-it-all. I know it all. They know it all, but they don't want to put in any effort. And I feel like you've reached some sort of dead end and you're being treated unfairly. And you're hearing the truth and you know the truth. Your intuition is telling you the truth, but you don't want to accept the truth. Somebody is manipulating this whole situation. This is a master manipulator in reverse. Master. Time to realize your goals. Your way somebody could be wasting their time. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. Could be dealing with the air sign as well. Aries, Aries, or <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like somebody has been wasting their time. They're refusing to accept the truth. And you're being called to focus on what you're really looking for in the future. What, what, do you, what, what are your goals? What do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Are you clear on what you really want? Are you wasting your time with this person that isn't really putting in any effort and they're a know-it-all? All I want is happiness, right? All I want is happiness. Maybe you're happy like this. You're happy being manipulated and controlled. Somebody, I mean, hey, whatever. Some people like that shit, right? So I feel like ego and pride is definitely in the way. This card signifies you need to let go. It does. The strength card is about finding the strength to let go. And I know that many of you don't want to hear this, but feel free to look it up. You need to find your willpower to face your fears. Something is harming your progress. You've reached a dead end. Something has made you feel empty inside. There's a feeling of emptiness here. In regards to a relationship, whether this is work or at home, there's, there's, there's emptiness in a relationship. And it's time for somebody to wake up. Yeah, somebody's sitting on the fence about moving forward. There's no victory in success here. There really isn't. There's no victory in success. There isn't. With these two cards reversed, there is no victory in success here. But somebody's turning a blind eye to the truth. Sitting on the fence. Fear of change. Should I stay or should I go? If I go, this will be a change. And I'm not sure I can deal with any change right now. So I'm just going to withdraw from the truth and not accept the truth, not to see the truth. I 
I feel like you have to make a painful choice. It's very painful. These are difficult decisions that you are facing. You're caught in the middle. You don't know what to do. You have two, two paths. What way am I going to go? You're unable to see the truth. Even though you do see the truth, I don't want to see the truth. I will avoid the truth. I'm going to block this feeling. I'm going to block this emotion because I'm kind of happy. Even though there's no victory and success, at least I'm not alone. There is no victory and success here. Wherever you're at. Somebody lacks the confidence and the ability to master their emotions enough to move out of this situation that is harmful. King of Swords reversed is harmful. Thinking about walking away to find stability and security, maybe with a Capricorn or Virgo or Taurus, I don't know. Somebody is thinking about leaving a situation that is not emotionally content, but I'm not alone. It's, you know, maybe it's financially stable. Maybe I'll stay for that reason. But this is a test. Somebody is being tested to stay, take the blindfold off and stop ignoring the truth and to move forward. But they don't have the mental capability to do that because this is codependency. This is a sign of cancer. Cancer is codependency. Somebody is codependent, unable to face the truth in this situation. But it's time to make a conscious change and follow your dreams. It's time to go through a rebirth, a renewal, to have compassion for yourself and put yourself first. This is about self-love. This is releasing, letting go so that you can find something more, more fulfilling. Wherever you're at, there's, there's no contentment, not, not real contentment. Yeah, it's financially stable and secure, but where's the love here? Anybody? Where is it? I would like, you know, you can't, what, come on now. This is, this is false love. Somebody who talks the talk, but doesn't really follow through and walk the walk. When you get to the king of cups, then, or the queen of cups, you got something. But this is, this is. No follow through. Dreamer. Somebody is willing to shed the unwilling, unwilling to shed the old. They're unwilling to open their eyes and become aware of the truth. There's no success. Because somebody's not taking action in regards to some sort of commitment they're involved in. It's financially secure and I'm not alone, so I guess that's enough, right? So what advice do we have for Scorpio at the end of April? What advice do we have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to do now? What can they do about this? Or what should well we know what they should be do about this. They should follow their heart. They should do the right thing. They should somebody's not acting with integrity here. They need to release and they need to accept reality. There's no wish fulfillment here. No ultimate wish fulfillment. No longevity. It's an illusion and somebody needs to accept the reality. And let go of this 
conflict, this depression, this anxiety. It's time to release it. It's time to close the door. Because right now you're halting happiness. There's a loss of faith. There's, a, there's discouragement. There's insecurities that are holding you back. It's time to accept reality. This is a reality check. Accept reality. Living in an illusion gets you nowhere. You have a new opportunity, something more stable and secure. This is a new beginning, a new security. that could make you very happy if you get off the fence so Scorpio I'm going to get you one of these somebody is stuck in a spa unhappy and unfulfilling there's incompatibility here and you guys don't have to like me that's okay support people come into your life for many different reasons some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. I think whoever you are dealing with at this point is one of the ones that has come into your life for a season. That's what I see. Of course, the choice is always yours. Always. Follow your own intuition. Okay? Do that. Don't lie to yourself, though. Somebody hasn't been following their intuition. Because I don't want to be alone. That's what I have, Scorpio. I'll talk to you later.